continue our chapter 6 on ungroup data. So here we want to find quartiles. Quartiles divide a set of data which are arranged in ascending order into four equal spots. We denote our quartile as QK. Before we find the quartiles, we have to find the R observation. So R observation equals to K over 4 times N. The N is the number of observation and then the K is the quartiles for QK. If we get our R is an integers, so the quartile is equals to 1 over 2 times R observation plus R plus 1 observation. If we get our R is not an integer, then round up to the next integer. Q2 is also called as a median and then to find the interquartile range, is Q3 minus Q1. Now we go to the percentiles. Percentiles divide a set of data which are arranged in ascending order into 100 equals 5. It is different, different from the quartiles. The quartiles divide the set of data into 4 equals 5. But the percentile will divide the data into 100 equals pi. To find the percentile, same as the quartile, the first step we should do is we have to find the up observation. For the percentile, we denote as PK. To find the R observation, for percentile, R is equals to K over 100 times N. And then N is Number of observation, then K is the percentile for PK. If we get R is an integers, so to find the percentile, same as previous, the quartiles, 1 over 2 times R observation plus R plus 1 observation. If we get our R is not an integers, then round up to the next integers. Example 4, find the median, which is, is equals to Q2, first quartile, Q1, third quartile, Q3, and 40th percentile, P40, for the following set of data. This data is ungrouped data. So, first, we have to rearrange this data in ascending order. 17, 20, 21, 24, 28, 32, 36. We want to find median. So the median is Q2. First, we have to find R observation. So R equals to K over 4 times N. The K is equals to 2 over 4. So our N is the number of observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 N is equal to 7 So R we get 3.5 observation Our value for R is not an integer So we should run up the number of R observation so here our median Q2 is equals to the fourth observation. So the fourth observation is 24. So our value for median Q2 is equals to 24. Next we want to find the first quartile. So the first quartile Q1. So first step, find the R observation. So R equals to K over 4 times N. So our K is 1 over 4 and number of observation 7 equals to 1.75 observation. 
So our number for observation, our observation is not an integer. So we should run out. So therefore our Q1 is equals to second observation. So the second term for this data is 20. So Q1 equals to 20. Next, we want to find the third quartile. Third quartile Q3. Same as before, we need to find the the number of R observations, so R equals to K over 4 times N. Our K is 3 over 4 times 7, so equals to 5.25 observation. Again, so the value for R is not an integer. Therefore, our Q3 must be, the number of observation must be round up to 6 observation. So, the value for our Q3, the 6 term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, Q3 equals to 32. Next, we want to find the 40th percentile. Which P40. So, find the R observation. So, R equals to K over 100 times N. Our value for K, because we want to find the 40th percentile. So, our K is equals to 40 over 100 times n and is number of observation 7 so equals to 2.8 so 2.8 observation is not an integer so p40 we have we should round up so to third observation So, our third observation is 21. So, P40 equals to 21. Question B, this data must be arranged in ascending order. Then, now we want to find the median. Q2. So, find the R observation first. So, R equals to 2 over 4 times N. So, our N, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 equals to the fourth observation. So, the number of observation, we get an integer. So, Q2... What we should do is 1 over 2 must be multiplied with 4th observation plus with the 5th observation. So here 1 over 2, the 4th observation is 5.4. Plus with 6.2. Then calculate. So our Q2, the median, we get 5.8. The first quartile. Q1, our observation equals to 1 over 4 times 8 equals to second observation. So the number of R observation is an integer. So our Q1 should be 1 over 2 multiplied with 
the second observation plus the third observation. So here 1 over 2 multiply with so second observation 3.5 the third observation is 4.3 so 3.5 plus with 4.3 calculate so our Q1 the first quartile is 3.9 now we want to find the third quartile Q3 So our observation 3 over 4 times 8 equals to 6 observation Six is an integer, so Q3 equals to 1 over 2 times 6 observation plus with 7 observation. The 6 observation is 7.6. And then the seventh observation is 8.6. So 7.6 plus 8.6. Therefore, our third quartile is equals to 8.1. Let's continue our example 5 in the next video.